Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 9, The Finale. This is another episode request from someone on Patreon. You know who you are. You've been requesting the show one by one, one episode at a time, and I've been loving it. And I'm ex very excited to finally get to see the finale. Last episode was crazy. It was amazing. I don't know where the season's gonna end. It hasn't quite had like a... I guess the best I can guess is they're gonna get to where that is on the map that they were headed to. Salt Lake City, I think. Something like that. I don't know. But we'll get there and maybe scientists will help. I don't know. Or they'll run into trouble again. Honestly, no idea where this is going. But I'm very excited to see. But before we get into it, please do not forget to go check out Patreon where you can watch all my reactions to shows on YouTube fully uncut and a month or more ahead. Some of them right now are like six, six episodes ahead. Some are four, at least four usually. Some are even more. If you... Steven Universe, you're like 10, 15 episodes ahead at this point. It's insane. Uh, but also, go to Patreon if you want to see exclusive Patreon shows. Shows that are only on Patreon, not on YouTube, not ever going to, well, not any time in the next year or so going to be edited for YouTube. They're just on Patreon. Shows like Pox and Recreation, uh, Broadchurch, Chuck, Attack on Titan, about to finish season one today. Very excited. And uh, Battlestar Galactica 2. Just watched another one yesterday. Oh, love that show. And yeah, go check it out. You have to be at the $10 tier and above. That's it. Okay? Other than that, um, I'm excited to get into this. So, without further ado, here we go. Oh, we're not even going intro right away. Whoa. Oh my God, is she okay? What, what happened? Oh, who's this? Is this like Ellie's mom? Is this bef like who gave birth to her? She kind of gives Ellie vibes. Or is this something completely different? I know this actress. Isn't she the lady from like um, that one D&D &D group? I can't think of the name. And voices in that Vox Machino, Machino, whatever that show is, uh, animated show on Prime. It's me. Anyone? Oh, you have a group of people and they're all gone? That's not creepy. Who's chasing her? Ooh, oh, oh. Water. She's going to labor. Good. This is like, ah, uh, very, ah, uh, what's that name? Silent Place. A quiet place, that's what it's not Silent Place. Quiet Place. I don't know what her plan is. Give birth with locking the door and what, you run with the baby? I don't. I don't know what a plan is here. Oh. Please don't do something to yourself, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, were they clickers? Oh, no. Oh, no, they're infected. I thought they were, like, people people. Oh, God. Picking all on her own. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Go for the head. Oh god. Oh damn. She just gave birth during that? On this wooden floor. Ew. Oh, she got bit. What do we do with the baby, though? If you're bit and everything. Is this Ellie? Her mom got bit when she was giving birth and she's like immune now or something? What's gonna happen? You're gonna turn in like an hour and the baby will be left alone? Do you... I, I don't know. 
It's gonna be hard to be quiet with a baby during the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, you tell her. You fucking tell him that. Yes, I knew it. Damn. Ellie even came into this world with all this baggage. Like, damn. Who are these people? Oh, is it still when Ellie was born? Are these people like her mom worked with or something? Oh, this this lady. Okay. Is this how they found Ellie? But didn't they get Ellie when Ellie was older? Was Ellie's mom part of the Fireflies? Anna? Anna. Okay. Why isn't the baby crying? Oh, wait. Is Anna singing to the baby? To Ellie? Oh god. oh god. Yeah. It's not your fault. We were delayed getting her on his own. Oh damn. She's hungry. She needs to be fed and I I didn't want to nurse her. Cause you bitten, yeah. I cut it before I was bit. Before. She didn't though. That's maybe why she's immune. Take her with she you. stabbed the dead guy and then sure cut the middle of her cord with the same knife. Oh, it's the knife that saved her me. life. So she's known Ellie way longer than we thought. So you pick her up right now and then you kill me. Oh God. Maybe she doesn't have to kill you. Get one of the guys she was with to do it. This isn't fair to make her do it. I can't kill you. Oh. No, please. Please. Oh. Please. Oh, God. She's begging, too. Oh. Marlene! It's a tough choice for Marlene. I... Uh. So why didn't Ellie grow up with the uh, fireflies? Cover her ears. Oh. Oh damn. Damn. If we're gonna get some backstory on Ellie's mom. That was tragic, Lord. No. What? Well, I found this in there. Who can? Beefaroni, Ooh. Chef Boyardee. Fun. Oh, cool. She doesn't seem as energetic. Ooh, boggle. It's a word game. <laughs> He's trying to like cheer her up. Trying to treat her like his daughter, and it's like it's cute, but she's set, like she's not there. All right, she just went through a lot. It's getting close. Mm -hmm. Hospital that way, maybe the one we're looking for. Okay, maybe we're there. It's all smashed up, but it got me thinking. Maybe I should find one. I haven't played in forever. Oh, that'd be nice. In fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. Uh huh. He really is going full daddy mode now. You want to learn how to play guitar? not there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff <laughs> and then skyscraper go up and look around. Damn. She knows him well already. Uh, actually, this time I was thinking we blast our way through that. Oh. Bubble. I found some dynamite in that. Dynamite. There. Really? No, <laughs> we're going to cut through that. <laughs> find the skyscraper, yeah. Go up and look around. I had you going, didn't I? For a moment, yeah. 
Look at her, him trying to make her laugh. But she's just not as funny and goofy as she was before. She's lost her innocence a bit recently. Talk about bad luck. Military drops bombs. Not one of them hits the building you're trying to demolish. Damn. Oh, I thought there was something else in the background. God, scared me for a moment. I'm too jumpy right now. I'm like anticipating bad shit this episode. Oh God. Come on, I'll give you a boost. What? What is it? Okay. She's clearly yeah, not. Fine. It's just you kind of seem extra quiet today, so. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Let me apologize, yeah. What? Oh, oh shit. Oh, go, go, go. Damn it, Kelly! What did you. <laughs> just got distracted, girl. You stay there! Oh, he's so worried about it. Kelly! What is it? Come on. Be careful, be careful. What did she see? Ellie. Come on. What? Girl, you, you scared me. How could she have seen whatever she saw from all the way down there? Oh, wow. It's a giraffe. What? That's so cool. Whoa. I won't. How did this giraffe survive all this time? Is this real giraffe? Or it's just CGI? It's giving CGI right now. <laughs> but it could be real. Uh, I can't imagine it would be too hard to get a giraffe for an afternoon from from TV for HBO. So it can't be that hard. Yeah, this looks real. Just the background is really bad CGI there. Or like, is it that screen that like Disney and HBO uses in the back? That's like a big TV screen. Cause that doesn't look so real either. It's a cool little moment though. Where are they exactly? Wow. There's a lot of them. It's kind of our first zoo experience. Kind of. So? Is it everything you hoped for? Got its ups and downs? Mm-hmm. Look, I don't know exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. Yeah, it'll look out. Sure. Maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. That's true. They just keep hitting bad after bad. That's no. true, too. We'll go. I'm only saying there's risk. We don't have to do this. What, what would you do otherwise? I want you to know that. What do you He's mean scared of losing her. To do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. Mm, I don't think either of you can really do that. After all we've been through. Everything I've done. We're so close. You might as well finish it off. It can't be for nothing. Yeah. If you turn back now, all that you've done and lost would just be for nothing. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch, mm -hmm. the moon. The moon? <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere you go. Oh. Now I know something bad's gonna happen at the end of this, this episode where they're not gonna be together or something. But there's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Yeah. They put these places up all around. The first few days after the outbreak. Oh, okay. Emergency medical camp. Yeah, it probably didn't work out very well. Didn't last. Yeah. Who knows who's gone already? Oh. So what was wrong with you? <laughs> Second day. Well, I gotta hand it to the army people. They were way better at stitching you up than I was. He was <laughs> oh. 
You stitch your. That was the guy who shot and missed. Oh yeah. Oh, we better have a little honest moment here. To look what happened. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. So he tried to shoot himself. When I went to pull the trigger, I, I flinched. Damn. I still don't know why. Anyway, wow, I'm Joel. Telling you all this I know why you're telling. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It. Kinda does sometimes, maybe. It wasn't time that did it. It was her. Oh, I love them. And I just all this lovey-dovey stuff. I feel like it's gonna go bad. It's gonna go so bad soon. You know what I'm in the mood for? What? Shitty puns. <laughs> She's got plenty of those. We're making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Too, Too soon. soon. No, it's top. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Better than Earth Rocks. Why? Because they're meteors. Uh, so bad. That's actually good. That's a zero out of ten. Right. Yeah, I agree. Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> That's a three out of ten. Oh, behind you. Behind you. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bye, military. Bye. Military. Oh, shit. What the hell? Where did they come from? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, it's going too good. It's too good. Oh, God. We're at the hospital. The hospital find us. Ah, oh, fireflies. Oh, Marlene. Wow. Where is she? We lost half our crew crossing the country. Damn. I had five men. His only job was to protect me. I still almost got killed. <laughs> it was all her. She fought like hell to get here. She would have been dead on day one. That's true. You guys fought for each other, helped each other out. You are the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. Yeah. <laughs> but I owe you. You do. We all take me to her. I can't. Well, why not? She's being prepped for surgery. Surgery? What kind of surgery? He thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? She produces a kind of chemical messenger. If you kill her. It makes normal to think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. Okay. He's going to remove it from her, multiply the cells. Will that kill her, though? A cure. But there's a but. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. Oh, they're gonna cut up our brain? It does. Oh. Like, I get cure and all, but there is. to kill this kid? We didn't tell her, we didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. And Marlene, she's your best friend's daughter. Oh. Chill. Oh, this is complicated on so many levels. I was there when she was born, Joel. I promised her mother that I would save her oh, damn. child. I promised. So I do understand. But it's save the girl or save the world. I have no other choice. There's no way Joel's just gonna let her die. Walking onto the highway, leaving there with this pack. Wouldn't, Give him this. wouldn't it be better to keep him there and keep eyes on him instead of... He tries anything. Shoot him. Damn. I feel like it would be much smaller to lock him in a room with people watching him. Or maybe subconsciously she kind of wants him to stop them and get save Ellie. You're about to go kill these dudes. Go ahead, Joel. Feel free. Protect your girl. 
I want a cure and all, but I don't want Ellie to die. Once I stop. Which way? Down the stairs. Oh, he was looking at the floors. Which floor he needs to go on to see Ellie, where the surgery is. The fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep Just walking. Make it, yep. Ooh. Where is she? Fuck you. I don't have time for this. Damn. Gotta have the knife. Go save your girl, man. Ooh. He's gonna kill them all. He is like on a mission. The seriousness on his face. Ooh. What does this mean for a cure, though? If Ellie is saved, there'll never be a cure. Oh, he, this guy's just running away. Ooh. He even put his gun down and everything, and you still shot him. He's not playing games at all. Oh, and now he's gonna use the knife. Grab him. Oh, damn. We've never seen Joel this savage before but this this is next level papa bears come out it's expected are they already mid doing it or they haven't done it yet? haven't started yet you can't shoot in there though oxygen tanks that would be bad She's ready. Okay, they haven't started. Now point that gun and scare the fuck out of them. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. Oh! Unhook her. Oxygen tanks here too, buddy. Uh, be careful. Turn around. Will Ellie understand though? I don't know what Ellie's gonna feel about all of this. just shot that doctor though like that's good useful doctor to have during an apocalypse to have a doctor in general someone who can do surgery brain surgery if they even want to do this cure again I don't know if they would be able to find someone who could do it where is Marlene in all this he just shot everyone up Marlene's just hiding what Ooh, vehicle. Oh, yep, yeah, Marlene. Can't keep her safe forever. Marlene. No matter how hard you try. What's the plan here? The doctor's dead. She's gonna grow what's up, the Joel. Plan? And then you'll die, or she'll leave. Then what? How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Damn. Because she broke in a world that you could have saved. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Oh, uh, I see both sides on this, honestly. I don't know what I would choose. So what would she decide, though? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. I am partially leaning on the side of kill her, get the cure. It's not too late. You, Even now. You already killed the doctor. Even after what you've done. What? Did he leave without her? I can't believe he would do that now. Or as Marlene did. Oh, she's it. He took her. You were running some tests on you. And some others. He it shot Marlene, didn't he? Like you. Oh, he's lying to her. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. 
Wow. If she finds out the truth. Eventually. Oh, shit, he did. They've stopped looking for a cure. Though, oh, this is a big lie. She's going to be pissed when she learns. Is Brian okay? No, because he kills Marlene. Is he a bad guy in this, or, after all? I don't want Joel to be a bad guy, but, like, what he just did was, um... Taking us home. Wow. Where? Going to Tommy's? She might run away from me if she learns the truth. She's still... Oh. just come after her oh shit we are going back to Tommy aren't we wouldn't say it was a favorite thing she wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such yeah neither am I I hate mosquitoes I have so many bites of me from going to the beach last week she would have liked you not to say the two of you are the same. It's kind of weird you comparing her to your daughter and everything. Well, she was a lot more. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying they. <laughs> She's not though. Yeah, she knows. No, you're not. She was taller. She had a killer smile. Again, not saying. <laughs> kind of sounds like you are. But you know what? Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, that I would have. Oh, here we are. Something bad's about to happen. I just know it. There you go. But there you go. What? Not much further now. Hey, wait. Does she not believe his story? Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. Oh, she's gonna tell him about, uh, what's her name? And then she did. And I have to. Yeah. Her name was Riley. Riley, that's her name. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's another oh. one. I know. It looks up. She can feel like. Like you've come to an end. And you don't know She what feels to like a next. jinx that people are going to die around her trying to protect her. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And he found no, her. Swear to me. Oh. Swear what? Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Oh, she doesn't quite believe him. Oh. I swear. And he's lying. I don't think she believes him. Did they talk to her before putting her under? Did she overhear things? Okay. Oh, we just end like that. Oh, that's an interesting way of ending the season. This was um, quite the episode. It was very fast. Very, very fast. Um, Joel, first of all, he, we've seen him have some savage moments in the season. But this was next level savagery. He went full Terminator. He went full Stone Cold Killer. Killed all these five five people, including Marlene. Oh, and ruined really any chance of making a cure, possibly. Um, and then completely lies about it, saying Raiders came and attacked, saying that the Fireflies had multiple kids like her, multiple kids that were perfectly fine and could make a cure out of it, but then they gave up on the cure because they just couldn't find a way. There was no way of doing it, so they gave up on the cure. Completely lied to Riley about it, and completely lied about Marlene. And everything to, I get it, to protect her and all, but, like, it's going to come back to bite him in the ass. You could see right at the end there, it seems like she doesn't really believe him. And she, the fact that she has to even ask him to swear about that he's not lying means she does not believe 100%. Part of her does not believe. And it's going to cause a lot of problem with the dynamic of the two of them. I guess next season they're going to be living at Tommy's and everything, and then maybe... 
everything will be good for a few months until she finds the truth out or something, and then she's going to run off and he has to go. That's my theory. Just this. I have no idea what's going to happen next season. Trust me, I have no idea anything that's going on in this. I've never played the games or anything. But my theory is that that kind of thing will happen, where they'll be good in a couple months, and then the truth will come out about what really happened, and that she's still the only viable place way to get a cure, and there is a way, and she's going to run away, and he's going to chase after her. That's a theory. I'll probably think of other th theories later on, but that's my aunt right now in the moment theory. Um, but yeah, uh, Marlene is dead. We got to see, um, Ellie's mom and Ellie giving, Ellie's mom giving birth to her and that Ellie's mom was friends with Marlene this whole time. Ooh. And that explains why she didn't want Ellie part of the Fireflies. Why she said no to letting Ellie come because she didn't want Ellie to be involved in this and get hurt. She was trying to protect Ellie. But then she was also willing to sacrifice Ellie for the cure. It's, it's a tough situation because... If they have to do the surgery, to, brain surgery, to cut open her brain to get a cure to save the entire world. Yeah, it doesn't make it so they can't be killed, that the um people can't be killed, but it'll make it immune so you don't have to worry about the bites, and then everyone just has to, then that's one of the two things you need to do. Cure it so bites don't, no one will turn, and secondly, kill everyone that is infected and everything that is. That, that'd be one of the things done. <laughs> um... But without the cure, it makes it ten times harder to kill everything. Because then all you need is one person bitten, and then this, and then someone's not going to say something. And it'll just keep spreading until there's no one left. <sighs> but who knows if that even would work? That was just a theory from this scientist guy, from this doctor. Just a theory. They could have done surgery, cut open a brain, and not worked at all. So, <sighs> but also, Ellie should have had a choice in this. No one was taking her choices into consideration, Marlene or Joel. They both were like, one side or the other, do it, not do it. And she had, she wasn't even get told before the surgery. She wasn't get told, she wasn't told afterwards. She had no idea what's going on. She's being left out of the dark when it's her body and her life that could be the thing to save the whole world. It's her life that she should be able to choose if she wants to sacrifice it or not. It's very complicated. So complicated. I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do with the season two. I know that's supposed to be coming out in like a year or so, so we've got some time, but I really enjoyed this. This was a good season. It's a weird... My only thing with the way it ended is it, it does feel like it just kind of like fizzled there at the end, just kind of ended. I was thinking there was going to be some kind of big shock twist thing. They were going to get to like Tommy's and the whole place would be like burned down as so they were attacked and everything. Tommy's dead or missing. Something like that. I don't know, or they'd be, like, taken by people on the way to Tommy's. Like, they would just, like, someone snatch them up. Someone really bad. Some new bad guy. I don't know. That's what I was expecting to happen right there at the end. We'll see what happens. I don't know. All right. Thank you guys for watching with me so much. I hope you have enjoyed, and thank you for the person requesting again. Don't forget to check out Patreon, link down below in the description. Go to patreon.com slash smallscreenreactions for uncut reactions to all the shows I watch here on YouTube. And for Patreon exclusive shows that are only on Patreon, Patreon only, not on YouTube. So go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time.